Hello, my name is Michael Bryan. Welcome to KISS Keep It Simple Sunday. I'll be creating a little simple recipe for you to cook home for your family or just for yourself if you live alone. The, uh, my daughter Lily is panning the camera. Come in little and I'll show you the ingredients that we've cooked today. The, um, have a little bit of tomatoes pre-prepared, a little bit of brown onions sliced and diced, red chilies, garlic yet to be sliced, Italian parsley, or you could call it Townsville parsley because it's grown out the back. Make sure you keep all your trims for the compost heap that'll be um, going on the lawn a little bit later. Marachetti pasta, or as the Italians would say, little ears. It says to cook for 11 minutes, so who are we to argue? So we'll be cooking that for exactly 11 minutes a little bit later on. Olio the olive, some fresh local Townsville tiger prawns, a little bit of salt, probably the most important thing, a gin and tonic. Cheese. Arachetti pasta, boiling salted water. Eleven minutes. Arachetti done. Okay, pasta's cooked. Keep a little bit of the pasta water itself because you'll re-emulsify that into the actual pasta once you're making the sauce at the end. There, a little bit of salt. Add to your pasta now, just to give it a little bit of flavour and let it um, chill there and mellow out. A little bit of olive oil, just to loosen it up a touch, and just to give it a little bit of fruitiness. Now let that sit. Okay, now time for the main event. Pan on the heat, medium heat. You don't want to burn the butter, you don't want to burn the olive oil. Butter straight in the pan. You're just trying to melt that down. A little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of flavor. Then the actual olive oil. Looks like a lot. Don't worry, it's healthy for you, apparently. <laughs> Just let that gently simmer away, as you can see. Did you start? Now the butter's just frothing there a little bit. Throw in the onions and garlic. You just want to sweat those down. Just let the actual natural sugars come out of the actual onions and garlic itself and add that delicate flavour to the sauce. That's only going to take you 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds or a minute. Drop in your prawns. I've cut these up just so it's easier. So we don't argue about who's got more prawns later on. Stop. Okay, now turn your heat up a little bit. A lot of people at this stage would probably add a little bit of white wine into the actual sauce itself, but why would you waste the wine in the sauce when you could put it in the glass for later on? From here, you want to add in your actual orochetti that we cooked before. 11 minutes, as I said. Pop that straight in. Give that a little toss around. Some of the actual pasta water that we saved, what happens is the actual starches in the water help to coat the pasta itself and add a viscosity and a sauce like consistency. A little bit more olive oil because we didn't add enough the first time. fresh ingredients, your tomatoes, the chilies are in there, I just want that fresh flavour of the chilies and tomatoes. Italian parsley, continental parsley, Townsville parsley, whatever you want to call it. Straight in. A little bit of salt. Toss that around. See all those colours that are all coming together. Okay, that's your pasta done. The old keep it simple Sunday. The old, hopefully your family likes that. Dish it up however you want. A little bit of a bowl. I would serve that with a simple rocket salad. Maybe a little bit of garlic bread, because who doesn't like garlic bread? And as I said before. Cheers.